Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Fuse Nope. And today I am going to show you a Mac tutorial, uh, OS X tutorial. And this I'm going to show you how to snap windows within the OS X and how to um, basically get a full screen without going to another screen. So one of the big problems with OS X is specifically um, any version of Macintosh actually is when you try to go full screen you can uh, on a window you can click that and it does this little thing where you want it to be actually a full screen so the only uh, only problem is is when you click this it opens up a narrow screen so if you want to go back and forth you kind of have to play a game and jump through a bunch of hoops and personally I'm not a fan of that because one of the biggest reasons why I use OS X is for coding specifically coding for the iPhone and iPads nothing really more so when I'm doing it I, I, I want to basically get in and get out as quickly as possible because I, I don't really have any other reason to be there so in order to fix this problem you can simply download this free program. It's a unlimited free trial program, which just means that it's going to ask you every so often or when you first crank it up, if you want to pay the, uh, basically pay $7 for the for, full version. If you don't want to do that, just keep uh, going on continue. And if that doesn't bug you, then this is perfect for you. So how do you get the uh, full screen thing? Well, you can simply go and click the window and do that number and it will actually make it full screen without throwing on a different area. So if I got multiple windows and um, say for example if I am doing some code and stuff I can throw a window to one side or the other or I can put the code in the background and throw the emulators to the sides and, and see what happens. So as far as the other snap features, you can go to the side and do that or the other side. But this requires a, a collision for the mouse and the side. So right here, I'm, um, I got the OS X running in a VMware on my monitor too. So basically it's going to get a collision on both sides. However, if I was able to run this on both my monitors, then there would be no conclu uh, collision. If I went, went over the area very slowly, it would have caused a, a collision. But the problem is, is um, this is kind of a waste of time. So a way to fix that is by having the, um, the monitors offset by a slight amount and creates a collision so it creates that because otherwise if you don't see this little outline then you're not going to get the snap effect which is pretty important but anyways uh, I'll have a link below to this program and again it's free it's um, for the trial period it's on the trial period if you want to pay for it it's seven dollars and you can buy it through the app store but anyways, if you got any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. And if you want to list any other programs that does something like this, maybe better or something that you know about, feel free to leave them down below and, um, and that way people know about some of the stuff that's out there. But anyways, uh, if, if uh, you like this, then please like, please subscribe and please share and please visit Tech Refuse and help and hope you have a great day.